you've seen the highest of highs, you've seen the lowest of lows. You have made plenty of money, you have made very little money. You have gotten jobs and you have been fired multiple times, but you always find a way to keep moving forward. And in my opinion, and I'd like to know what you think about this. I, I believe the winners, the people who everybody in the world looks at and they want to emulate and, you know, that's my idol. I want to be like this person. I always tell people all the time, those people, they're no more talented than you. They are no more, you know, they, they, they're no more human than you. They just never ever give up. They when got a hell of a work ethic. Down, they get back up. Yeah. They got that work ethic. They got that, that work ethic. That work ethic will win every time. You know, I got a good friend, um, Ed Hennens, who has this quote, and I have stolen it from him. You know, he said, nothing works like the work. And it's just mm. simple. You, you, you know, you can have the talent. You can be born with all the gifts in the world. Lots of people are. Yes, they are. But if you don't have that work ethic, it's over. And you and you worked alongside one of the best. I, I heard Diddy tell me this one time. I said, why are you up so early in the morning and going so hard all throughout the day? And he said something about time, time don't or money don't record money don't read clocks or something like that. And I said, if he can do that, he gets up, he runs and he does this and he changes into his office attire. Then he runs a business and he goes in the studio and then he has his kids. He had his kids coming into the office that particular day. He was doing it all. Who are we not to? I, I think people and I and I don't talk about my personal history enough on this program, interestingly enough, because I like to keep it focused on our guests. Uh, but you just spoke about Puff. And I don't think people understand, like his success, it's not accidental. It, it, mm -hmm. it didn't happen by chance. He didn't win again and again. Like you might get lucky once, you might even get lucky twice. But to build the businesses at the scales he has built them, whether yeah. it's in records or fashion or liquor or now with television, and even in college, when he was promoting parties in college, who's doing that in college? Who's thinking like an entrepreneur and with little resources, but putting the vision all together? Like, that's like bonafide boss shit, like to me. No, he was a, his true talent is his work ethic. I tell people that all the time. Yes, I agree with that. Great in all of these, but his real talent is he's going to outwork you, period. That's it, that's it. And, and and even if you can only do a quarter of the work that that man does, <laughs> you're likely to be successful. And, and, and that's just the God's honest truth. It is just the God's honest truth. So it's it's crazy, and this goes into a whole other conversation, but, you know, when I when I look at people and, and they are, you know, throwing them under the bus and say, say what you want, I, you know. Right. Here's what I do know, because I don't know about any of it. What I do know is whatever he got, he worked for it. He oh, yeah. worked his butt off. Uh, I, oh. I agree. Let me say something else. Go ahead. Sometimes, so for me, I took the 12 year break because sometimes for women, it's a little bit more difficult for us to keep working at that high of a pace when we have children. Because even if we're married, somebody's got to work. And unless you have someone to come into the home and take care of the kids so that you can keep operating on that high of a level, you got to take a step back. And that kind of slowed me down. And then, you know, I've always had my, my ongoing health issue with the, the tumor in my jaw and that, that slowed me down as well. But women are not given the same room to raise their children. It's almost like, and the pandemic has shown that has highlighted that actually, that we have to forego one for the other. And for me, it uh, it didn't turn off. Like that passion and that wanting to win, I just wound up putting it into my current situation, which was being at home with the children. 
So that made me put all that stuff into making sure my kids were, I was PTA. I was team mom for football, yeah. team mom for wrestling. If I'm gonna be home, I'm gonna be the best stay at home there is and I'm gonna cover all, but I became Miss Jones' mom. I put the same formula into being a mom. And now I think my kids are happy. I think, I mean, I, I believe that they are successful, but I know had I still been running around to radio stations and having to leave home at 4 a.m., getting home and being tired and exhausted and not being able to pour into them, I know that they would be different children and not for the better. So it was a conscious decision of yours. You know, it was what? not, it was, it was, it was not. not. I fought it. I fought it because really? I was, yeah, I was fighting the radio stations legally. I was suing them because they had fired me without cause. Not Hot 97. People think Hot 97 fired me. Hot 97 never, ever fired me. That was, I actually stayed there an extra year until they could get Big Boy and Cypher and Rosenberg, Cypher, uh, whoever it was, together. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about the stations in Philly. And I sued them because I, and I wasn't ready to leave. But then, um, I started my own online radio station. It was successful at first. And then Hurricane Sandy happened and just destroyed all the equipment. It just, it was a 24 hour radio station before people were doing this heavy. And at that point I said, God, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to show me? Because I was getting advertising. I was doing, I was the, the, the 24 hour talent on the station working hard, but I felt good. And then that happened and I, I, I said, I'm just going to sit back and see what, you, what you're trying to tell me. And, you know, that made me pay attention to my children and the fact that they weren't brushing their teeth properly and the fact that they're not, you know, knowing how to pray at night properly and, you know, that one has asthma. And, and really being present to who they are and what their needs are, that became a 24 hour time consumption. But it was for the better, it, it, it all worked out. I didn't know it then, but 12 years later, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I had the time because now they're older. Well, Jalen's 16, about to be 17. And the last thing he wants is to be in my presence. <laughs> he, might, he might pop in my live occasionally, or help me fix a camera, but he's got his own life. So I would have missed all those years with him. And now he's away at boarding school. So I really, you know, am missing. And then now, then he'll be leaving for college soon. So I'm so thankful. Sometimes you don't see, you're going so fast and you're trying to work and achieve so many things that you don't see what's right in front of you. And you don't understand how to turn it off or how to reset. And, and and be present to what's right in front of you. So I'm 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 grateful. Oh, so these such beautiful gems you just dropped. You know, Jonesy, it's it's interesting because I preach on this point all the time. You know, one of one of the things that I credit to to being the the most, if I can point to anything in my life, anything in Sean's life that has been the catalyst for any success that I've achieved is that I listen, that inner voice, that that when God is giving signs, when he's talking to me, I, I'm unable, since I was a boy, since I was a child, I've been unable to ignore it. Mm. And people go through life and call it the universe. I, I'm spiritual, I'm a faith driven man. It's God. When, 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 when these signs are happening, when, when things, when, when, when your inner spirit is in confusion and you know things are just not going right and you don't know why, sometimes sit, be still, submit. Yeah. Don't be afraid to just be silent for a sec. God, what are you trying to tell me? And I love the fact because most people who are career driven, mm -hmm. the world looks at them a certain way. There are certain expectations on them mm -hmm. or that they put on themselves. Right. I was going to say, we put on ourselves. A lot of that also is those people that are career driven, they're making so much money that when that stops, they panic and they start trying to find the next thing. 
And the next thing, because you're like, God don't know my bills. God don't know that they about to cut my shit off. So yeah. I got to, you know, I'm not trying to disobey you, God. And I'll listen to you later. But right now I got to go find another check. That also is part of it. That's also part of it. And, and the pandemic showed everybody that there is no way that you can really, really ever prepare for disaster. Because I don't care if you had $200,000 saved in your account during the last 15 months, it is probably gone. It's gone. At least, it's at least half of it. So some things you just can't prepare for. So don't beat up on yourselves if you get fired or you decide you want to stay home and raise your family or, you know, don't, don't think that this is the end of the world. The money comes and the money comes back around. It always comes back around. But take a deep breath, like Prez said, and just sit and breathe. Because sometimes God talks through other people or he brings people across your path or in your life. But if you're not, if you're worried and frantic, and I know it's easier said than done, but I've been there. You're not listening. Nobody can't tell you nothing because you know what bills you got coming up, what obligations you got coming up but you've got to find a way to steady your mind and know that God didn't bring you that far to, to let you fail. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share peace and love.